Hello, hello you guys. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hi, my name is Erin. If you are new here, welcome. And this is my channel where I talk about all things makeup, movies, and of course books. I do that here and there on my channel. And um, today we're going to be getting into another makeup video. This one's exciting because we're talking about the new Pat McGrath palette that just came out recently that she teased us for a minute with all these rainbow colors. And at first I wasn't that excited because it ended up looking similar to some of her other palettes a lot of like the pinky tones but the more I looked at it and the more I just kept kind of getting hyped up for this release I decided to pick it up so I picked it up on launch day and I have to say it's very pretty in person which all of her palettes are I do own quite a few other mother mothership palettes I own I own three other ones this is the fourth one is that right one two three yeah three other ones four other ones i know this is like th this is number four or five that's terrible but i don't even know they're all up here i keep my mothership palettes up here on my little display area so but they're kind of blocked right now because i have so much stuff on this desk so anyways we have the um what is this called utopian yes utopian dream palette artistry palette so we're going to get into this palette we're going to do some swatching and some looks or i'll pop up swatches one or the other and i'm thinking to do i kind of want to do more than one look with this um but we'll see how this goes so i'm going to do one look tonight um it's friday after work so i'll probably do one tonight and then another one tomorrow and kind of compile them together but yeah if you like videos like this definitely give this a like um, subscribe if you want to see more content like this on my channel because I do do a lot of different content here on my channel um, You can always check the description box. I do link playlists and videos always in the description box But yeah without further talking and further ado, let's go ahead and get into this really beautiful palette All right guys, so first before we hop into the video, let me tell you a little bit about this palette First off, let's look at this packaging. It's absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous It's probably some of my favorite packaging I've had from Pat McGrath so far um, I do, like I said, own a couple of the motherships, but this palette packaging is absolutely beautiful. It opens up as usual, and inside you have the little slip with the shade names, which I don't always enjoy, but that's um, something that occurs. I really do prefer the names to just be printed on the palette. Then we get into this bad boy, typical of her mothership palettes. We have the black packaging and the magnetic closure. We have 10 shades inside with a mirror and it's always, as always, very luxurious feeling, hefty, nice size. And inside we have shades from peachiness, rose tones, golds, and of course the four special shades down here are glowing beautifully. Um, and I also picked up the Intensify Artistry Wand, which came out with this release. It is supposed to intensify the shimmers in her palettes. And yeah, just click here and you'll bring out the product. So I will be using this as well in the video. I might do a comparison, like one eye with it, one eye without, or something like that. But I'm super excited for this. So let's go ahead and hop into a quick demo for this All right, you guys, palette. I've already primed my eyes with the Pretty Vulgar Eyeshadow Primer. We're going to hop right into this shade right there. And that shade is called secret eden very beautiful name i do always use the mirrors in my palettes most of the time unless i'm using a handheld mirror which i do occasionally or if a palette doesn't have a mirror i'll use a handheld mirror and i have one from ColourPop and also one from um break uh it's bell cosmetics so this shade is just a nice light shade it'll be great for transitioning it's really pretty sometimes she doesn't include like lighter shades like this in her palettes which always you don't need them but it is nice to have one and that's really pretty already that's giving a little bit of color not too intense not too anything it's really just really setting the base down All right, moving on right after that, I'm going to pick up this peachy shade. I think that shade is just really pretty, and it's one that really caught my eye. I'm going to place that one using this same brush. This brush is just a lavish brush. It's their tapered blending brush, and I'm just picking it up onto the bristles, and I'm going to just place that right into the crease.
next I'm taking a more a little bit tapered brush and this one's just I think something I got off of Amazon and I'm going to take this deeper shade here and I'm just going to place that into the outer really the shadows are just blending so effortlessly her mats are gorgeous as usual so we're gonna go into some shimmers we're gonna go into some shimmers now I'm thinking to really just go for it and just go right into those special shades of course there had to be a gold in this palette Pat McGrath loves her golds um, but I really want to get into this pretty purple shade purple blue oh my god it's gorgeous this one right here as well looks really really pretty this one does too and it reminds me of sexual terrestrial from the divine rose 2 which i do own but first i'm going to go ahead and place this down on the eye so i'll demo this one all right you guys so i have placed it on to like the first part and i'm kind of bending it over as well and it's very cooling feeling it almost feels like almost a little slippy doesn't feel like a typical glitter glue in my opinion and then we're gonna pop into some shimmers i'm thinking i might do i don't know maybe i should pop into this one down here though and then put that one in the over part let's try that so i'm gonna just go into it with my finger i like to apply her shimmers with fingers because they're just it intensifies it and also they are just amazing look at that look at that and that's not even one of the special shades we're gonna get into that special shade right now look how pretty that is though so i'm just gonna blend the edge of that i guess i really shouldn't blend it with that sticky stuff down first it's not really super sticky though then i'm gonna go okay so that shade was called cosmic bloom and then we're gonna go into this beautiful shade here can i display it correctly look at that almost looks like it has specks of green in there too this one is called astral amethyst moon perfect name for that one let's pick it up with the finger oh my gosh look at that it almost looks a little transparent let's see if that applies on the eye oh yeah look how pretty that is that's insane i'm just placing it first down and then dragging it over a little bit I mean can you guys see that I mean what else can we say about something so gorgeous I can't I can't I can't um, I'm just gonna blend in between these two and then we will move on to the next thing but that is just I mean that's pretty. All right, you guys. For the lower lash line, I put a bit of the um, neon eyeliner, shockwave eyeliner from LA Girl in the shade Vivid. So it's just like per very like pinky, per not pinky, but like purpley, almost leaning towards the lilac, amethysty. It's reminding me of this shade a little bit. It kind of fits with it, and I'm gonna go ahead and buff out that shade with this pinky shade. Okay, and then I'm also going to take some of the pink shade as well, Shockwave, just to match everything. Okay. That looks really good so far. And then I'm just going to deepen out the outer part, just like on the top, um, with that same shade, which was called Extreme Plum Noir. I don't know if I ever said the shade name for that one. And I'm just going to take that again on the same brush. I always make the funniest faces when I am um, <laughs> doing my lower lash line. Okay, should we put a little bit of some of the shimmer on the lower lash line? I think we could. Um, let me see. Get a clean little brush. I think I'll take a little bit of. Um, let's take a little bit of this one and this one. Let's do that. Match the top. So I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Cosmic Bloom and I'm going to spray it because that just seems like a good idea for the lower lash line. And I'm going to put it on the outer part. I 
and then I'm also going to take some of Astral Amethyst Moon. I'm looking at the shade names over here, you guys. On the same brush, and I'm going to put that on the inner part. Okay, and then to top everything off, I'm going to just top some of this shade here into the inner corner. That's called Skin Show Skin Show Nude Extra Ecstasy. What am I saying? And I'm going to just use that same little brush. It's still kind of wet, so perfect. Okay, that's really pretty, you guys. I'm going to do the other eye off camera, and I'll be back with the final total look. All right, you guys, here I am back with the final look. I love this eye look. It is really beautiful. The shimmers are working together beautifully. The mattes blended gorgeously. There's nothing I can say that didn't work for me today. Like, every single shadow worked nicely. And, of course, I said I'm going to come out and do a second look with this one tomorrow so you'll probably be seeing me do a second look very very soon in this video it'll be tomorrow for me but in a few seconds for you guys but i just think that this look is absolutely gorgeous everything's working together beautifully i finished off the rest of my face with some tried and true products the venti east drop is for foundation i use the anastasia mascara um the elf Concealer I used under the eyes. If anything's looking a little ghostly, it's because I've gotten a lot of color recently doing car rider duty at my school I work out. So I've been out in the sun a lot. So this might look a little light for me right now, which it is because I've gotten some color. But I mean, the eye look is just where it's at, you guys. And I'm loving the colors that I used today, the shades that I used today, the um, three mattes, and then this sh three mattes, the shimmer and this shimmer so i can't wait to try the other shades tomorrow i'll definitely try to highlight um you know maybe some of these other special shades but this shade right here this shade right here is just i that's probably gonna be my favorite shade in the, shade, in the whole palette for sure because it is so gorgeous on the eyes it's got like a purple blue shift to it sparkly glittery of course it's just amazing so this is the first look you guys hopefully you enjoyed it and liked it but let's see a second look you guys, right I now to mention that when i did this eye i did not use the um intensify artistry wand so as you'll notice it's really pretty still i did use a wet brush i, I put it on the brush sprayed it so the shadow was applied wet and i also put a little tapped a little bit more on top with my finger that purple shade but i do feel like this side is a little bit more intensified so i think this really does work i'm going to try it out again tomorrow but i really do like the way this eye has intensified shadow on i mean the shimmer looks a little bit more intensified a little more popping and i did apply the artistry one on this eye so that might be why i think it is and i'm really liking it so far but this eye is really pretty still with just wetting the brush or using your finger. It'll still apply beautifully, but I think this will help with intensifying and also with fallout. So for me, I'm glad I purchased this stuff right now. I will try to get out tomorrow though. Alright you guys, here we are back at the second day with the Utopian Dream Palette from Pat McGrath. I went ahead and did swatches. Oh gosh, look at how I swatch. This is terrible. I always do this. Look at the swatches. Okay, so let's just look at the first few. <laughs> That is terrible. I don't know how I always do this. Okay, and then the other two. Okay, there we go. Let's. Okay, that's awkward. But as you can see, beautiful swatches. This last shade I swatched twice. Once dry, just like with my finger. And then the other time I used the artistry wand. And I do see a difference. I really do. If you'll notice the swatches, they look more opaque with the artistry wand. So sorry for those terrible swatches. That probably looked so bad. But I just wanted to swatch it. And second day I didn't swatch it even though I've already done one look with it. But there you go. If you want to see some swatches, beautiful. I mean, the palette is beautiful. Some of them swatched uh, when I was rubbing them. It was a bit dry, but again, the pigmentation and the blendability of these. Just from that first impression, the mattes are really nice. I used all the mattes in the palette, and I'm going to be using some more of the shimmers today. So let's go ahead and get into right, the second guys, look. here we are. I'm going to start off right away with this pink shade right into the crease. I'm going to be using my Refer 13 brush. And just dipping in I really like this shade a lot it has a lot of pigment and it's a really pretty color 
this brush is a bit smaller so it's a bit more detailed and good for my eyes because my eyes are not they have some space but they're not too big either so I like to get right in there All right, guys, next we're going to add some dimension with this deeper shade down here. And I'm going to just pop that into the outer part of the eye. Similar to what we did yesterday, except for we're not starting with the lightest mate, matte in here. Alright you guys, next I am going to apply the Artistry, Intensify Artistry Wand. I really do enjoy it so far, so I'm going to put it on both eyes for the shimmers. So I'm just going to place it kind of all over where I want to put all of these shimmers. I'm kind of glad I picked this up because this is very easy and you don't have to get a separate brush out. You don't have to... You know put it on your finger if you don't want to you can just get it on there the only thing is it might get dirty <laughs> that's like the downside of that all right so the shimmers i'm going to use today i'm definitely going to go into that one right there what are these called but that's the bad thing i'm not having the shade names on so this okay blitz blitz six stream <laughs> blitz six stream and i think i'm going to also go into astral venusian orchid that are some different names right there so let's go into blitz six dream first i cannot say that i'm gonna just put it on my finger this one is kind of like that trio called dual chrome it reminds me of sextra terrestrial from divine rose 2 but i feel like this one is a bit deeper and the green is not showing up well it's showing up pretty good in here so i'm gonna put this on the outer part of the lid because it's a bit deeper that is pretty oh my gosh yeah, I think the green isn't showing up as much once you put it on the eye, but as well, look at, I'm sorry, and it's so, so beautiful. Oh my gosh, and I will go back and blend the edges and stuff like that. I'm just placing it down, and then wiping my finger off, I'm also going to go into this guy right there for the inner part, just give it some brightness, and also look at that beautiful shade. <sighs> Try not to get too much fallout. Let's just press it on first. Oh my gosh. I'm not being dramatic, you guys. It's just really that pretty. I can't. I can't. So, yeah, and I feel like the artistry run is definitely helping us out here with intensity and just giving us that flavor. All right, I'm going to do the rest of the shimmers for the other eye. And I'm All right, you guys, I'm gosh. back with both eyes done. I saw on someone's video that you could. Um, put the shimmer down and then put some more of this on and build it up even more which I did on this eye to try it out and you can see it's just Intensified it a lot more One thing I will say though is um, I did get a lot of fallout on this eye not as much on this one I think it's because when I applied this one I did both eyes and then I went in on this eye first and maybe this dried a bit because there was more fallout on this eye so I would say probably Put it on one eye, do the shimmers, and then put it on the second eye and do the shimmers right after instead of kind of like waiting because it might dry a little bit. But it's really, really pretty. And I, I'm loving this so far. Like the shimmers in this is absolutely insane and gorgeous. Into the lower lash line, I'm going to clean this brush off. I've done everything with this one brush, which I always, that's like a goal for me. If you can do everything with one brush, that's amazing. And this brush is pretty small. So I'm going to go in with the refer 12 again on or 13 i'm sorry onto the lower lash line and i'm wondering if i can put this under the lower lash line as well i didn't do that yesterday but i might try it today so first i'm going to go in with the matte i'm going to go again with uh shockwave that bright <music> off the brush i'm next going to let's see pop into maybe a shimmer actually down here i'm gonna deepen up with the shade extreme plum noir first in the outer part just so it can match the upper part here and 
and then I'm gonna go in actually with a different shimmer I think I think I want to pop into this guy here because I haven't used that one did I use this one or did I use this one I think I used this one yesterday I think I'm gonna pop into this one which is called bronze desire so it's kind of like a bronzy shade not the most exciting you know shade for a Pat McGrath palette but all of her shimmers are really pretty. I think I'm going to pop on this, though, on the lower part, just to give it some little ba ba boom And I'm going to put it into the inner part. So I'm just going to see if this works. I don't know if it's safe to be putting this close to my eyes. I'll be the guinea pig for this. And then I'm just going to place it onto my finger just a little bit. Um, sometimes it's hard to get precise with the finger on the lower lash line, but I'm trying not to use too many brushes because I don't want to wash them. I know, that's crazy. And I'll just clean up any, like, mistakes with my concealer. But that went on really, really pretty. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but it looks really nice. So next I'm going to go into the other eye off camera, finish the rest of my face, and I'll be right back with some mascara and possibly pop in something in the inner corner. All right, you guys, so. here I am back with right the back. final look. The palette is absolutely beautiful. I'll show you really quickly what I use on the face. I use the Hulta Beauty Moisturizing Foundation Stick. I'm loving this. I repurchased this, the shade. I purchased it again in a different shade because the first shade I got was too light, but Tan Warm looks really good on me. Underneath it, I use the Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1. It's my first time using this today. I'm really liking the way it looks under the makeup so far. I'll have to keep trying it out, and I'm definitely going to probably do a video with that, featuring it, or in another Get Ready With Me. Um, I used the Born to Glow NYX Concealer to spot conceal and under the eyes, and I set it with the NYX No Filter uh, Finishing Powder. I used the ABH Cream Bronzer in Caramel for my br bronzer today. I used the Cream Highlight in the shade Bubbly for the highlight that's on. And then for blush, I used a combo of the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in Joy with setting it with the Desert Orchid Pat McGrath Powder Blush that she just recently came out with before this collection. And I did a little bit of eyeliner with the Douce Liquid uh, Fierce and Fine Graphic Pin Liner. It's a liquid liner. Didn't do too much with it, just lined the upper part. And then I put some mascara on the upper and lower lashes using the Essence Lash Princess. I think that's everything. Oh, eyebrows. I just brushed some eyebrow gel from Benefit into the eyebrows. Didn't do much for those. So that's everything. And then I set with a combo of the Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray as well as the um, setting spray from Morphe, the Continuous Setting Spray. So that's everything that's on my face. I want to give my final thoughts on this. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. It is beautiful. It is gorgeous. I didn't use every single shade. Let me see. What shades did I not use? I didn't use the gold shade. I think that's it. I used every other shade. And matter of fact, I did need to pop in a little bit of inner corner highlight. So let me do that real quick. Sorry about the talking in the background. Okay. Yep, so that shade I popped in for the inner corner highlight right there. Love it. So I used every shade in the palette except for that gold, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I used this one. I keep forgetting if I use this one or not, but I'm pretty sure I used this one in the first look. And then the gold one is the only one I did not use, and I'm still excited about that one, but it's not like superbly calling my name it's just like a gold but i'm pretty sure it would be absolutely gorgeous to watch beautiful so i hope you guys like this look i'm really loving this look i think of the two i don't know i can choose both of them are really really pretty i like both looks definitely i'll be able to create a lot of different looks with this palette because i think it's a great combination like i said i was disappointed at first but now that i've been playing with it there was just no way I could hate this palette. It's just gorgeous. It's beautiful. It might not be the color story I was expecting, but the shades are absolutely gorgeous. And Pat McGrath has hit it out of the park once again. Uh, she thank you guys so much for watching so. the video. I appreciate it so, so much. If you enjoyed the looks here, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you want to, of course. And let me know, did you pick up this palette? What were you thinking? Did you Were you disappointed by this one? Or were you excited? I definitely was disappointed at first, but once I started playing with it, I've been, I, I mean, this look is beautiful, and I'm sure once I do my second look, which I haven't done, I'm just filming the end right now, I will like it, so 
yes thank you guys so much for watching i'll check you out in the next video very soon stay safe adios